wondering how we turned this old video into this. Using artificial intelligence, not that AI. Here's the thing, Gary didn't tell me he was going to be doing this. So the first time I actually saw any of this was pretty much what you guys are seeing now. And it was absolutely phenomenally, it's mind blowing. I've been doing a lot of work with AI at my job and I thought this is worth a shot. And honestly, when I kind of set out to do this, I had no idea if it would actually work. The first hurdle is we shot this back in 2013 on a Canon 7D that wasn't great in low light, that didn't have the best frame rate. Its video quality was limited to 720p, which is barely HD. We're also shooting in a really compressed format. So there isn't that much information in the 720p video. But luckily, the AI is very smart. I found the original project from back in 2013 and managed to boot it up in my current Avid. Took that, moved it over to DaVinci Resolve and rebuilt from as many assets as I could find of high-res exports from Dropbox or anything, which was still 720p, exported in the lowest compression file Resolve would allow. So there wasn't really much to gain here, but I was trying every pixel I could get of information that I could give the AI I was gonna give. I fed the AI the cosplay video. Again, not that AI. The AI progressively, as it goes, learns kind of frame by frame what should and shouldn't be there, and basically builds a new image. Unlike normal upscaling, where you were literally just upscaling and sharpening something, this is reading the pixels that exist, reading the frames before and after, and trying to figure out what should be there. It feels like it's being pulled out of nowhere. It's making up 
uh, backgrounds, it's making up footage that I know when I filmed it was there. It is insane. Now immediately I was kind of like, oh, the video isn't that bad, is it? And then whenever I saw it side by side, my mind was absolutely blown away. If you take this Predator shot, you know, we walk past this booth, it looked amazing. We're like, oh look, it's got foliage and everything like that. We put it on the camera and it's like, hey, yeah, this isn't quite how we physically see it. Uh, the Predator shot is the most mind-blowing shot. We sent this to a couple of videographer friends and even they were in shock at how this looked. You can see details I actually forgot existed. It just didn't make any sense to anybody how this could look that good given given everything. It's actually really, really nice now to see some of this footage actually have a true representation of what we saw at the con to what you guys are seeing out there in internet world. Because we now had a 4K version of this that brought in all of these extra details, it also allowed me more freedom in color grading. Because everything's not a blurry mess, we're actually seeing like really nice color palettes. We're seeing people's skin tones actually be brought back in. Colors aren't bleeding back into each other anymore. So you're actually getting really nice defined skin tones. You're getting bright colors. The opening shot of the video, we have Yaya in front of the giant Marvel screen. So I could actually get that Marvel logo in that bright, vibrant red that I had always wanted to be able to see it at, and just to make that opening shot a lot more impressive. And I was able to go back and add some additional little effects. It actually makes them pop a lot more than, than what it did before. This video is, is hugely important to me. It was kind of this insane journey to just go, we are gonna get on a plane and fly to San Diego Comic-Con, like the mecca of cons. We just packed up our stuff, <laughs> we flew out, it was crazy. And we met, so many incredible people and it was just absolutely mind-blowing being even in the same room with them i mean we got to do a panel at san diego comic-con it was such an amazing time such an amazing trip it's bringing back so many incredible memories from that i can't tell you how much i teared up getting on the plane home uh we were it was yeah it was one of the greatest experiences of my entire life we're incredibly proud of this video even when we filmed it back in 2013 and now it actually brings me so much joy to be able to see it in 4k this is what we wanted to make back then but we we just we lacked the technology to do it it's still actually one of our favorite videos that we've ever done thank you so much for for your guys support over the years some of you may have even started following us because of that video if you guys have any videos that you kind of sit there and go, oh, you know what? That would be a really cool one to AI train and upscale. Like, please, please let me know. And we can all enjoy the magic once again in 4K. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share. It really, really, really does help in these times. Hit us up on all the social media and hopefully we'll chat to you guys soon. And until next time, stay sneaky. <laughs> I'm feeling like I'm one in a million I'm a real thing, I can see it Like a fire in the night, so brilliant I'm a standout, no concealing it And I'm feeling like I'm one in a million I'm one in six tickets, yeah.
darkness, but you're seeing stars. So, so, so what's your story?